Hey, what's up besties? So today's video is going to be a rewind plan with me and I'm using this kit from Prank Petticoat Bandit. This is a foil kit. I don't know if this is coming across on camera very well, but this is a foiled printable kit that you can pick up from the shop and I believe it's like five or six dollars or something like that. I don't know. I'll have all the links down below for this kit, but um, this was a challenge created by Miss Tia. You guys, I will have her channel link down below as well. Everyone's pretty much already made their videos, but me, I'm a little bit on the late train because I started late and I was like, oh, I'll just do a rewind. So this challenge is no white space. So I picked this kit because I figured with the kit being foiled, me foiling it, it will make me want to use all of the stickers a lot more. So yeah, we gonna see how this goes because y'all know I am not a no white space planner, especially in this horizontal. Like that just doesn't happen. So here we go here. Um, this is the very busy kit. I was trying to see what kit it is. And it has a bunch of pages. So here's this one. And then here is, I'm sorry, this is our full box sheet. I'm like, here's this one. Um, this is our washi and some full boxes and some trackers over here. Ooh, and a cute little circle sticker. And then here are some icons and the date covers. And then I opted for the bow version of this, so this is just so pretty. And I used a rose gold. Um, I do have a mink, so that's what I used. And I may be doing some foiling coming to my shop. I don't know. Depends on how I'm feeling in my soul. Um, but yeah, so here are the bow options over here. And then these are our full boxes with our girls. And I love, I just love this. This deco is so stinking cute. And then we have some more icons. I love her icons. They're really, really cute. And then some washi down here. And then we have our um, washi, like glitter washi headers. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to use all these stickers, y'all. Like, I just... I just cannot um, we have our quarter boxes our half boxes and then some more little icons over here and y'all know I won't be using I'm, I won't be using this at all because this doesn't it doesn't look very well in the um, well I might try to use one I'm saying I won't but I might try to use one I definitely won't be using these though y'all know how I feel about those but I may try to use a full box of the um, bows in a row and then I love these little icon girls and these are so cute and I love that she gives you all of the options here in the different skin tones so that is awesome and then we have our work stickers and our bill stickers and our payday stickers so we're just gonna go ahead and get right on into it all right you guys so first things first let's just take everything off of the discs as we usually do and I'm showing you my simply gilded washi which I am so in love with I'm starting off with putting my washi down and y'all this whew, I can already tell y'all this is gonna stress half of y'all out because it stressed me out to even do this like it was just too much going on no white space is not for me I'm just letting y'all know now this is a fail it's an epic fail it's in the the worst fail that I've done in a long time in regards to the planner world um it just the designs and everything were cute this kit is the bomb um I love the washi that I chose I loved everything about that it's just mm -mm. I, I'm not an I'm not a no white space person it's just mm. but um I do love the fact that this is a printable kit that you're able to foil and that is amazing to me you can do all of this at home using your um I have a mink machine but you definitely can use your laminator and a laser printer and print these things off the files come already ready for you to show you how to um, use it and I mean it was just really user friendly so you guys make sure you check out print petticoat bandit because she definitely has the goods so as you can see I laid down the date covers and then I was like "Ooh, I can do this cool thing with the washi over here for the weekend to fill up some space and I did the little flag thing for the weekend I thought that was cute that was good. that was cute girl and then I decided that I wanted to kind of jazz some things up a little bit with the full boxes so I tried to put down as many full boxes as I could and it was just difficult I ended up having to lift some things and figure out where I wanted to place it like even that right there look look at that it's sitting on top of the washi like <sighs> I probably could have cut it I, I don't know my mind I guess my brain just doesn't think with no white space and it's not knocking anybody who does 
no white space planning like I definitely think it's a skill and an acquired taste but it definitely for me was like girl y'all see what I did in that little corner box right like that was a lot then on Tuesday I decided to put two of those double boxes together and make one like I was trying y'all can't say I was trying to don't say I wasn't trying okay because I really really was I was trying to get as many stickers and maybe my thought process is off because um, when I talked about it earlier, Tia was like, well, you could have used some colorful boxes and um, something else I could have used or whatever. And I was like, yeah, I probably could have, but it still would have been white space because I would have used um, colorful boxes with white space and then not wrote in them or something. I don't know. Like, I just don't feel like I would have been as productive, but I could have tried a little bit more. So I don't know. I may try this once again. You guys will have to let me know below what you think about it because... I don't know y'all horizontal planning and no white space planning I just I don't even I'm gonna have to go like Pinterest some and see no white space planning in a horizontal because I feel like the horizontal was made to be um, functional in this way but Tina did show me a, um, a different way today where she blocks it off like each day has its own section of three and so maybe I could have did it that way. I don't know. I'm seeing different things that I could have done differently. But at the same time, this is my style. And I tried to incorporate my style and what I um, like to see in my planner. Because it's still... I'm glad this was a rewind spread. Because if this would have been a beginning like of the week spread, y'all, I wouldn't have touched my planner. I wouldn't have touched it for the rest of the week until it got away because it was just too busy for me just looking at it right now and all the stickers aren't even down. Like, I'm like, girl, what was you doing? <laughs> what were you doing? Look how she just put the stickers down. She's just dropping them down. Just look, dropping them, picking them up, dropping them. This is, oh, goodness. Just adding stickers and <laughs> it was so funny. I picked out stickers ahead of time so I could be a little bit more um, on point with what I was trying to do instead of flipping through stickers and sticker books and stuff like that. And it worked pretty well. I do like that method of doing that. But yeah, so um, I put down a soccer sticker and an eyelash sticker. I ended up um, canceling my eyelash appointment because I had what looked like a sty in my eye. And I was like, I'm not chancing that. And then Austin soccer practice got canceled because of the rain. So that got moved out the way. And then I'm just trying to put in as much deco as I can. Do y'all see, see this? Like, I just want to make sure y'all seeing what I'm seeing. Like, it's just busy. I need space to write. My handwriting is way too big for this. Like, I just, woosah. I'm having a woosah while I'm watching this. Like, this is deep. But y'all see the little Beyonce sticker down at the bottom? That came from Oso oh Paper Co. Um, during Beachella. Y'all know I went to see On The Run, as you guys saw at the beginning. And I just... I'm so excited. Like, I'm still on a high from seeing that. It was just an amazing concert. And y'all, if y'all didn't watch my Instagram, y'all heard it from me first. I'm telling y'all that my sis, my auntie, my cousin, okay, B, <laughs> whichever one she is on that day, I, I think she is with child. But y'all can hit me up. I got a little, little picture of proof. You know what I'm saying? Neither here nor there. I'm just saying. There was a heart on the womb on one of her costumes. I'm just trying to figure out why, you know y'all let me know what y'all think about that so yeah um I just oof, I keep I keep trying to deflect from this <laughs> this spread so we don't have to talk about it I just don't I don't want to talk about it but my week was pretty good it was pretty decent I had a lot of things to kind of do in the earlier part of the week just trying to take care of things before um, we went out of town and I wanted to work on some different things with between my business and um, at my businesses and then um, just some home life stuff and Monday was a actually a kind of a busy day Tuesday wasn't as busy but I had a, like little odds and ends things to do Wednesday I had a successful meeting with one of my fellow youtubers I'm so excited about that we have some great things coming up as well and then oh Tuesday y'all I forgot to go to my um oil change appointment y'all know my brother does my um car stuff so um he did fit me in on Wednesday so I was happy about that and then, of course, on Thursday was Beyonce and Jay-Z on the run. And I absolutely loved that concert. And Friday, we just came back in town. I worked on some orders. We had a um, 
video that me and Shay did. We did a collab video. You guys make sure you check that out for sure. We are planning on doing more of those and I'm so excited. And then on Saturday, we had some community service with my girls group. And that's who you saw at the beginning saying, hey, besties, it made my day to know that they actually watch my channel and they know what I say. Like, y'all don't understand. That's like, it's amazing to me because that means I'm touching their hearts even if I don't even know I am. So, yeah. All right, you guys, so here is what I have left in the kit. Y'all, this, mm, 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 mm. look, I didn't even get to use this page. Like, having a horizontal, I don't know if I can do no white space. It just didn't really work out the best. But, yeah, these are all of the pages that I had left. Goodness gracious, this is a whole kit. I think I will, I'm going to start gifting my kits away. I don't know if you guys like using, um, I've seen other people do that where they've kind of gifted away kits. So I, I will start doing that if you guys are interested and I can just send them to y'all, um, you know, towards the end of the month, put them together and have a person win them. So I've always wanted to do this. This is my Viv Wiggle, 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 hey, Wiggle, 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 Wiggle. wiggle. Okay, so that's the completed spread, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Miss Tia, for even thinking about this. It looks a hot mess to me, but it's all to the good. I will make it do what it do. Thank you, guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Mwah! KK, bye!